Hi everybody, so it is Saturday, excuse my bedraggled look, it's been a long day, Caleb and I have been out to do some Christmas shopping into Cambridge, we got quite a lot, we're going to do a little haul of some of the bits that we picked up, um, some things for us and some things for little presents, um, and then on the way back we stopped to get the groceries, so we did go into Tesco, we spent £111 and although I had Caleb with me there's not a lot that he added, there's a few things but certainly not a lot. And if you recall the last couple of times I've shopped at Tesco's, I've said that the prices seemed reasonable again, and now they don't. Um, so I haven't got as much stuff as I usually get. Although I have to say I do have a full week's complement of meat, which I think does make a difference um, to the price. But not very much stuff that's not kind of normal buys for us. So I was a bit surprised that it was that much, but oh well. It is what it is. And I haven't... Um, subscribed yet to the Tesco Plus and if I'd done that I could have had 10% off of that shop which would have been worth it on that shop but never mind I'll get that done for next time um, I go into Tesco's. Original plan was to shop at Asda as there's a big Asda in Cambridge and we don't very often get a chance to go to Asda um, but by the time we finished walking around the shopping centre in the middle of Cambridge and, and been back to the car a couple of times and all of that we were feeling quite tired and so we decided to um, just drive back to our familiar Tesco's where we have scan and shop and we can just be in and out quite quickly. So I'll turn you around, I'll show you what we got in the grocery haul today and then as always at the end of the video I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. Okay so there is the sweep of everything that we got today um, and I'll start over here as always. So a couple of freebies, I picked up the Tesco Christmas mag um, as that chocolate orange tiramisu trifle just looks amazing I probably will not make it but just the look of it made me want to pick up the magazine and it's the freebie and then as we were going into Tesco um, one of Santa's little helpers um, came up to Caleb and gave him this Cadbury secret Santa box and it's got quite a big bar of Cadbury's chocolate in and one of these little which I think looks quite delicious um, a dairy milk orange snowman so um, they were just giving those away as part of the Cadbury Secret Santa um, event so we were quite happy to get one of those non-food items I just got some paper towel and one of the little coconut bird feeders um, our little birds they, we have a um, a feeder that we put the suet balls in and we're out of the suet balls and my Amazon delivery doesn't come until later this week um, and they keep coming to the feeder so I felt really bad so I'm just going to hang one of those out there. Bread wise we got our usual Kingsmill 50-50, I got some whole wheat just sliced brown rolls so that I can take out what I need and put the rest in the freezer and then a pack of tortillas. We got a large bottle of ketchup, Caleb um, for his brioche this week, he's been back into brioche again recently, he wanted the ones with the chocolate filling as opposed to chocolate chips. And then he also picked out um, oven baked salt and vinegar crisps for his crisps for this week. I got some of these Fibre One 90 calorie popcorn bars. These were 99p at the moment in um, Tesco. So the popcorn bars are 99p. I noticed a couple of the other Fibre One um, varieties were £1.44, which I think is half price. And then the rest were all full price. So I'm not sure the, how it works, but the popcorn bars in Tesco at the moment are 99p. Um, Caleb picked these out for his school snack treat for this week, some Rice crispy Squares. Now it's Tony's birthday in the week ahead. Now Tony does not like cake particularly, he's not a big cake eater, in fact he doesn't eat much sweet at all. Um, and so the one thing he does like is these Madeira slices, so the regular one with the jam and cream in it and the lemon one with the lemon um, buttercream and lemon curd in it so we just got two of those slices we're going to put some candles on when it's his birthday and celebrate and he'll be perfectly happy with that um Kayla picked up these reduced little mini donuts which he's desperate to break into um, and a package of bourbon creams for his biscuits for this week um, a tube of tomato puree Caleb asked for some sardines. I think when he went on his outward bound kind of school trip adventure, they cooked sardines over the fire and ate them. Um, and ever since then, he's been asking for sardines. Now, the tinned ones are not quite the same, but we'll see how he gets on with those. A package of couscous, some ground cumin, two cans of baked beans, three cartons of tomato passata, a chopped tomatoes, um, two cans of kidney beans, one in water and one in chilli sauce. Um, onto the fridge... 
Uh, a pack of these Putty Falu drinkable yogurts, the strawberry ones. These are the ones with the easy caps so they don't spill. A tub of quark. Three of these pots of skier um, natural Icelandic yogurt. These are the high protein fat free yogurt. They were three for three pounds or they're one pound fifty or something like that each. But they were three for three pounds at the moment and the different flavours as well. But we use this in, Tony uses it in smoothies and I like it for things like overnight oats. Our usual semi-skimmed milk and apple juice. Dairy Lee Dunkers, the tube ones this time. Um, some sliced mature cheddar and a block of the lower fat cheddar. Two scotch eggs, some seafood sticks and some breaded ham. Um, smoothie boxes for breakfasts. Um, Caleb um, quite likes to have one of these as a breakfast with perhaps a brioche or something. And then I got some of the jalapeno and red pepper hummus. Now I spotted these. I have had the Halo Top ice cream, which I really love. And they are now doing these little um, pots of pudding. They had lemon. I think there was a chocolatey one and this birthday cake one, which I thought as it's Tony's birthday this week, to avoid me eating a big old chunk of cake, this would be a better option. Now these were expensive. They were £3.50 for two little pots. But they are, as you can see, dessert with layers of sponge cake, flavoured mousse and vanilla flavoured sauce topped with sponge cake pieces and sugar sprinkle, sprinkles with sugar and sweetener. And you can see they're just little like mousse pots with sponge in. I just thought they looked, I'm a sucker for things like that, desserty things. So I'm going to give them a try um, and see how they are. Um, frozen food, a pack of the mixed vegetables and broccoli florets, um, corn sausages, six of the Cornetto strawberry ice creams, a tub of the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough. Now I got this free with a new app that I've subscribed to. Um, I will do a separate um, mention on the app um, because I think I've got a code that I can share with you that if you sign up to the app, you can also get a free cookie dough. Now you don't actually get it free, you pay for it, but then you get your cash back on it. Um, and it's quite a good little app. So I will um, follow up on that on a later video. It's just with Christmas and everything at the moment, everybody's so wound up with things. But I think after Christmas, um, some of you might like to start um, using that app. And it just gives you some deals on, on some of your grocery shopping, no matter where you shop. Um, a tub of, we're being lazy tonight, a tub of the um, ready-made mashed potatoes. Um, on to meats, a pack of chicken breast, two of the chicken thigh fillets, some powders, skinny pig sausages and some regular Cumberland sausages, two packages of turkey mince, an unsmoked gammon joint and 12 um, beef meatballs, fruit and veg, white potatoes and I thought I'd picked a good pack but if you can see in there there's one with a big black hole in it. Urgh. I get so frustrated with potatoes. I just need to start growing my own. Um, a bag of carrots, some baking potatoes, um, brown onions, parsnips, two um, packages of the traffic light peppers, a baby leaf salad for Licky and curly parsley for him. He's got some mint and some flat leaf parsley already in the cupboard and also some um, curly kale for him. Um, Baby button mushrooms, had to think what they were for a moment. Salad tomatoes, beetroot, um, cucumber, romaine lettuce, uh, celery, which I do need a little bit for some cooking this week, but again, Licky loves to crunch on celery. Um, some blueberries, oranges, nectarines. I'm just a bit fed up with apples, pears and plums at the moment, so I got nectarines just for something different. I know they're not in season, they probably won't be particularly sweet, but... It will work. Um, a white cabbage, some raspberries, some strawberries, and Caleb asked for some watermelon. So we got a little pack of watermelon fingers. So looking ahead to our meal plan for the week, we were going to have chicken tonight, but when we got to the grocery store, Caleb has been such a big help today. I asked him what he wanted for dinner and he asked if we could have sausage and mash. So we're having the sausage, mash, vegetables, and gravy for our dinner tonight. Tomorrow we're having a roast chicken dinner. Monday we'll have baked chicken and baked potatoes with vegetables. Tuesday for Tony's birthday we will go out next weekend for dinner um, but we'll have piri piri chicken which is his favourite with wraps and chips and some salad on the side. Wednesday I'm going to make a chilli with rice. Thursday a campfire stew. Now that's a crock pot um, meal that I make using the gammon joint. 
use gammon and lots of vegetables and some seasonings and you just leave it to cook all day until it all falls apart and it makes like a stew and you then have that with potato wedges or mashed potatoes or something like that and then friday we'll have pasta bolognese so that's our look ahead at our meal plan for the week and um, thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and we will be posting the hauls at the other we'll do a big combined christmas shopping haul um, we went to poundland of primark to a couple of little boutique stores we went to a card shop mm -hmm. what else we did we do we did uh, we went to a lamp place yeah we went to a few little kind of the kiosks in the middle of the shopping center and got a few little unique things from there so we will show you all of that in a separate video but for now we'll get this stuff put away and get on with our sausage and mash and we'll see you back here on the seesaw soon